So what's going on YouTubers, DIY Dan, Saltwater Junkie here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how I got my lionfish to start eating. Uh, after I first got him, he was being very finicky, did not eat anything for about a week. We had tried frozen, we had tried live minnows, among other things. Uh, did not eat anything. Now, I also had this problem with my porcupine puffer when I first got him. So I'm gonna show you how I get these guys to start eating. Uh, like I said, it had been about a week. Uh, his stomach was really starting to recess and uh, making us nervous. So one thing you have to remember guys, unfortunately most saltwater fish uh, are caught in the wild. So it's an acclimation process to start getting them to eat frozen. And sometimes it might take some patience on your behalf uh, for that process to take place, all right? So what I ended up doing guys is I went and got some live ghost shrimp and I did buy them in bulk because this took a couple weeks to eat every time I've had to do this with my fish. All right, uh, had a little aquarium, put the ghost shrimp in there and then each night I would catch the ghost shrimp in my hands. I would place them in these plastic tongs that I have. All right, and then I would slowly enter them into the aquarium. All right, and release the ghost shrimp next to the lionfish. He would chase the, uh, the ghost shrimp down and eat the ghost shrimp. So it took about a week, but every day I would move my tongs closer and closer to him before I released the ghost shrimp. Look at that, he thinks I'm feeding him right now. All right, and eventually it got to the point where I could basically hold on to the ghost shrimp and he would eat the ghost shrimp right out of my tongs, okay? So we did that for about a week then I got to the point where I could start doing my frozen krill um, or other frozen food and I would do the same thing. I would bring those down and let it go right in front of them. All right. It eventually got to the point where I could hold the frozen food and feed them out of the tongs. However, uh, I use these wooden chopsticks with my eels. And now I'm using him with a lionfish. For whatever reason, he's a little less nervous about this wooden chopstick, uh, as far as feeding goes, than he is about the tongs. So uh, I got some videos I'm gonna show you on how this process went down, all right? I'm also gonna do a quick video on uh, what I use to feed this aquarium since we're talking about feeding. So let's get to it. So I'm gonna go through what I feed this tank uh, very quickly. Um, first thing is these half shell clams. I get these from a fish store. I tend to buy them in bulk because it's cheaper that way, obviously. And I do have quite a few puffers now. All right, uh, the reason this works so good for the puffers is it gnaws down their teeth. You throw a half shell clam down in there while they're trying to get the food off, they're chewing on the shell and it gnaws their teeth down. Works really well for puffers, guys. All right, I also use frozen krill, uh, among other things. But the main thing I feed this tank with is the seafood medley. I get it at Walmart, it's in the frozen seafood section, all right. It's got an awesome variety of different seafood and for the price, for the amount of food you get and the price you get it for uh, is a really good deal. I, I believe it's anywhere from eight to ten dollars maybe and this feeds this tank pretty much for like a month uh, and I got quite a few fish in there so this works really really well guys. I've been using it for about five years so uh, you might want to try that out. All right so let's get back to the feeding. All right, so I've got live ghost shrimp and I'm using my tongs that I feed my fish with. And basically, he was scared of them really at first. So what I've been doing oh, is I get him close to him so he's getting used to the tongs. Now he's eating. So I've done that for about two or three days now. And now what I'm gonna try doing the next day is holding it and making him grab them out of the tongs and we'll see how that goes. But he wouldn't even get near these things at first. So I've been kind of moving the ghost shrimp closer and closer to him, letting the live shrimp jump around. Then he's getting the hang of eating them and he's getting less and less scared of the tongs. So I should be able to start feeding them right out of the tongs here in a couple days. There we go, you got him. All right, guys, so one of the biggest problems with this is is he's still a little slow on reaction time. So uh, my two puffers, Rufus and Jasper here, are much more aggressive eaters, so you kind of got to distract them. And then we start 
started doing this on a stick and now he's eating right away off the stick. Come on, come on, come on. There he goes. Come on. Okay. Alright. Alright, so once we got him feeding the ghost shrimp, then we started using this wooden stick. And now he's eating right off the wooden stick. So that's how I got my lionfish and my porcupine puffer to start eating. Hope that helped you out and hope to see you on the next clip guys. Have a good one.